Hello, welcome to the first show on this new channel. And today I'm here with Alex, who's with my co-host today. Hi, Alex, you right? How are we doing, mate? You okay? You good? All good, mate. All good. After yesterday's great, well, great performance, I think it was second half, first half a little bit shaky, but we got a result in a big, a big derby win. Can't, can't be that, can you? Can't, especially no. two, wins and two wins of this against them as well, the double. Yeah. Don't care about the rest of the season now. Write it off. Don't care. Six points against them is all I care about. <laughs> I'm being a yeah, bit, of a bit, a bit of Bertie there, isn't I? But, you know, here's what it is. No, no, but well, honestly, it's always, for me, every season, that that's the picture I look forward to the most, just to sort of just beat them. But the thing is, I'll be honest, right? It's not really, it's not really as competitive as it should be anymore. Which is, is far it? better. We are far better. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is, but... Like, I... Totally, like la- yesterday, I was there. Obviously, I was at half time, and I was fuming because obviously we're one nil down to our biggest rivals. You've got people saying it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. But then I look back, and I do see where Pep is coming from when he said that we played better first half than we did second half. However, I think second half we were far more ruthless, and we just kind of suddenly learned how to take a shot, how to create chances and put them away. Like yeah. I, I'm probably going to get a lot of shit for this. But I thought Foden was dire first half. I oh, thought him and Rodri were shocking. And I'm not afraid. Actually, way, and then... Go sorry, on, mate, go on, sorry. Before I go on. Anyone watching this show thinking, what, why are these guys going in on players? We're very real here. We're not going to lie to you and pretend things are positive and all that. Like They, they can be. We'll be like negative all the time. We're not. But generally, you and no, no, pretty no. positive. When, 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 when it's going right when we it going right, we'll praise everyone. We, we, we always will. But we're not going to lie to you and make it out that everything's okay. We will call it I'm not stuff. sugarcoating yeah. nothing. I'm not sugarcoating no, anything. I'm not sugarcoating a bad performance. Because, like I say, I thought Foden was terrible. And then I was chatting to my mates I was with at half time. And I said, look, you were telling me Foden needs to step up. This is when Foden should be stepping up. But I don't think it works with him on the wing. Fair enough, I no. hit my words at the end. Because second half, he smashed it. He was oh, world yeah. class. And I think... Alvarez changed it, to be fair. And I don't particularly rate him that highly. I think Alvarez... He's, he's, a, striker. he's a striker. He's a striker in the wrong position. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. But I think him coming on, he definitely gave support to Haaland, which helped. And then obviously Haaland yeah. managed to get his goal. But Haaland hasn't... Did he really do anything? I think what proved it for me is if you look at like... I read like the Athletic and the MEA and I read their player reports and ratings at the end. And no one yeah. gave anyone at City over a seven. I agree. And the Derby win, everyone's saying is emphatic. No one scored over a seven. Look, they ain't going to get nine, ten every week. I get that. Nope. But you're only just above average. If five is average, you're only just above with a seven. Hang on a minute. Look, you and me watch games of our eyes. We watch. We don't look at stuff through, you know, the stats because stats mean nothing, mate. They're like, like that they're all cool to see. Oh, this guy got twenty odd goals in nineteen games. But when you watch him or watch the players, the players, they're mostly getting tappings, which is fine. You're a goal scorer, you're a striker. You, you, your job is to put the ball back in the net. And if Harlan scored all tappings, I wouldn't would give a shit. And then would you? Because in the no. day, he's put the ball back in the net. But. Harlan recently, apart from the Luton game, but Luton game, he was bloody. He's, that's what I want to see from awesome. every game. Awesome. But it needs to be every game. It can't just be one game and then, oh, back to Bond or Banjo saying. It needs to be proper. Look, sometimes it, sometimes for a striker, it won't work out. And that, that, that's, that's fine. It happens. Yeah. There's games yeah. where you win. But I at least want to see you putting that effort in to say, I'm going to get in that box wherever I can. Look, we do need someone else to cross the ball in more than De Bruyne because it's ridiculous. So it's like, you know, he can't get any of his apart from De Bruyne, maybe or Foden. So we do need to find a, a, a difference there to try and diversify our on the wing because Doku for me right now, I love him, but it's potential. It's not first. For me, it was never to... ever with Doku. Like the abuse he's getting is annoying me, to be honest, because it was never ever supposed to be like it is now. Everyone no. bangs on about Grealish, right? And everyone says, like, Grealish does this, Grealish does that. Grealish is a, is a player you play when you want to defend because he holds the a ball. Control, yeah. If you want to yeah. control it, yeah. 
if you want to attack a team, you don't play Grealish because he can't. He's not a winger. I'm not. He's no. not a winger. He's he's a control player, which is fine. He's a midfielder. That's, that's, he's a midfielder. He's a midfielder exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't, I don't know. Like it, it wasn't supposed to be this way with Doku. He wasn't supposed to come in, hit the ground running because he was fantastic when he started. There's no doubt in that. And he's still brilliant now. He's still trying. He's still pushing. He's still running at teams. He's still creating that space. He's still putting crosses in. But he was never supposed to be playing as much as he is. He was supposed to be kind of in and out between him and Grealish all season. Grealish yeah. has had injury problems. We don't know how long he's going to be out for now. Someone said to me yesterday, he's potentially out for the rest of the season. When Doku signed at 21, raw from the French League, did he really think he'd play that many games this season? Probably not. No. No. So it's same with Nunez. It's same with Nunez. Like Nunez for me, actually played really well. Like he hasn't been unbelievable. Like I was, there, I was there at the Everton game and I watched him the first half. I thought he's not doing anything badly. He's doing his job. At the end of the day, yeah. right? Everton sat that part of the bus. We didn't do enough going forward to create chances. By the way, We're awful in terms of creating chances. It's terrible. But Nunez, but Nunez is doing his job. That's why I think with the whole Pakatar thing, Pakatar will be that player that we need. When De Bruyne isn't playing every game, because De Bruyne is going to start phasing out at some point, which is perfectly fine. I love having the yep. big games now at that point. But Pakatar's the guy and Foden's the guy. We look for the right you two are the creators now. Go and create. Because De Bruyne, look, De Bruyne will always be there for the next, I reckon, two or three years before 35, 36, he's done by MLS. Good for him if that happens. But I just feel like for me, we start, when we start looking at players like, like obviously Foden would be the main one or someone else, like, like a Pakatar. To do that because Kovacic and Nunez are more controllers than actually are create, create midfielders. They're not play, players that I play where well, I'm playing you behind the striker. They're not like that at all. They're not. No. They're no, not. no, 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 no. No way. I think it's like, like you say, Kovacic and Nunez are far more control type players. They are players that you play if you want. Like like I said with Grealish, if you want to control a game rather than bang, 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 scoring loads of goals, which we ain't going to do every week, I get that. But like against Liverpool, I totally agree with what people are saying that Grealish would play over Doku, ideally. Yes, yeah. because you ain't going to go to Liverpool and match him man for man. Otherwise, we will get battered. We'll get yep. slapped, especially with the way the long ball done us yesterday. Again, by the I way. Mean, Again, how many times has that long ball killed us this season? It's just yeah, straight like, over the top, direct, route one football. Last season, that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. No. That's cut out straight away. It's, there's no line there. There's nothing there. There's like, you've got Gundogan, Rodri, and then you've got the back four as well. It's stopped right at the midfield. Stopped. This season, it's just bypassed everybody. And I'll be real with you, right? Yesterday. But I think, going back to the whole the whole Grealish, Doku, Nunes thing, like it's, Grealish would normally and ideally play on Sunday. Against yeah, Liverpool. he would. Yeah, because he is far more defensive. Not in his head defensive, but he's far more... Conser- conservative, I guess, is a better word. Like, he yeah. will... Doku will run at you, and he'll run, and he'll run, and he'll run, and he'll do a few skills. And yes, he might he might lose the ball. He, that's a risk you take when you're a winger. How many times did Jack Grealish lose the ball for, for Villa? How not many times did he fouled? How many times did he try and take players on and not do it? Quite a lot. How many yeah. times did he do it for City? Quite a lot. But because he's not in the squad, it's far more noticeable. But when he when he's in the team, you do notice that there is a lot more. There is the control element there, and control is what you need against a team like Liverpool, compared to a team like who Arsenal are playing currently, Sheffield United or Luton or. And no disrespect to those teams at all, but like, there's a completely different level here. Yeah, absolutely. Because like I said before. The championship, I'm watching it very, very closely this year, especially watching Southampton and blah, 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 that. Those teams will go down straight away next season. All for will. Now, Southampton might get a chance because of and Leicester might get a league because of experience, but, mate, the way they're playing right now in the championship and defending right now, they will get absolutely humiliated in the Premier League. And that is where, for me, when we're playing against these teams like United and Luton and Burnley, best of the league, we haven't taken advantage of it. 3 1, 3 1, not even a 4 or 5. I know that sounds really insulting to me, but, but if, if Arsenal are battering these teams off the park, as well as Liverpool, why aren't we? What, what What's happened to our ability to score goals and get the games done? I'm not asking for 5 in every game. That's not going to happen. 
But at no, least I get what you're But at home, all clean sheets. Where have they gone? Where are the clean sheets? <laughs> I, gone? Where are we in the clean sheet chart? We can't be They're very it. high. We can't. We can't be yeah, anywhere near it. Nowhere near. No. I think can't Arsenal. I, I think Arsenal and Liverpool are probably the best. Yeah. In them too. And and that, I rightly said because they actually because I'll give credit here because I think Van Dijk uh, Van Dijk and Canate have been class at the back this season. Like it doesn't matter what you say about Liverpool and Saliba and Gabriel. They're both being settled. Well, Saliba cost Arsenal the title. He did, and look at him now in his team at his time of the year. He's doing what he needs to do. I wouldn't say he's the best back in the league, but he's definitely top three. Maybe top he knows two. what he's doing. That's the thing. I mean, when he got injured, Arsenal started to fall behind, and that's when we started to claw back the points, and that's when yeah. we went, we went all out, yeah. and ended up winning the lot, obviously. But you know, yeah. we don't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't at all, do we? But um, <laughs> I just think this season, though, I'm not expecting any. Treble is not going to happen. I have a funny feeling that st- at some point we're going to get hit by a loss of some kind. It's going to shock us all. Yeah, I, I, I think it... I've been saying for months, for weeks, that we have been playing better in the Champions League than we have in the Premier League. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why yeah. that is. I think in the Champions... Like, I was there in Copenhagen. I was lucky enough to get to that. And um, mm. I think even, everyone says, like, oh, when Grealish ran off, it changed... It didn't. We were still the same. We were still very much controlled. There was never any doubt in that game. I know. Did, was it one all? They bring it back to one all. No. Well, they well, well, back. Well, yeah. well, 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 Edison. The thing is, that was a mistake, yes. though. Like, that was a mistake. But that's a that's a one off. That was a one off mistake that Edison rarely ever makes. And yes, it cost us a goal. But even then, there was still never any doubt in that game that we were going to come away with a comfortable enough margin to potentially rest a few players in the second leg. Yeah, and it was the same in the group stage. I mean, we won six out of six in the group, so the and none of them, none of them to me ever really looked like there was ever any much trouble. I mean, even when we played the kids in the last game against probably the best team in the group other than us, they were great. Because it was, it was great. It was comfortable. It was easy. But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I genuinely think we're playing better in the Champions League than we are in the league. There seems to be a, a different kind of system going on. And it seems I think he tried that system in the Premier League a few times and it's failed. Um, but I think, in Europe, it yeah. seems to be working. I think he needs to find a way, right, of maybe find two different systems in Europe. Because in Europe, I think we're a team built for the Champions League now, where we can win it. I think this year, I think we'll win it this year. I think we'll. I think we're better than Bayern. We're better than Inter. I think Inter are a good team this year. I've been proud where I I've been watching them in Serie A. They're, they're a better, better team this year than they were last year. And yeah. they got all the way to the final. If we get it again, it'll be a tough one. Just yeah, saying, it'll think, be a tough one. I think anyone in the Champions League after Copenhagen will be. But I think we're, like I said, we're playing better in it. I wouldn't really be too, regardless of who we draw, whether it was Bayern. I think the only, you know, anyone, Porto, whoever in it, I don't even know, I can't remember. But if it, anyone but Real in the next round, I think I'd be fairly yeah. confident we get through. I think for me, though, if there's one thing that worries me, I think it is goal scoring because Harlan hasn't really made me feel relieved yet that he's back yet. He still needs to do more before I start thinking, all right, here we go, he's back. It's kind of like, all right, well, after getting five goals, we can keep making more goal scoring every game. People are just, you know, great load of goals here and then. Just about getting old again. It needs to be a bit more consistent from him. And I think we need to start seeing that, I think, as well. Because when this game for me means nothing, I know it still isn't still isn't done yet. Obviously, it needs to get it done, sorted first half, get us out of there comfy. Because Liverpool and Anfield will be a whole different piece of itself. Because it, Klopp's last season, the fans behind them, it's going to be an atmosphere to behold, probably. It's going to be. There's nothing to think of it. It's the biggest game of the season, mate. It, oh, yeah. Um, Big time. I mean, we've won there twice in my lifetime. I'm 30. And one of them was like, without fans. So I don't even know if I really count it. I don't. Because to me, I'm looking at this right. I'm thinking, we would lose 3 dill. That sounds mental. But think about it. In previous years, we thought, oh, this would be the year. We're going to have to get battered. All is one nil. We've got to go to this game 
with mentality of don't go all out attack, attack trying to do us. We've got to find a way of combating them and, and digging in, settle yeah. down, yeah. settle the fans, because settle down. I say, first quarter of an hour, settle down, because they will go for it. Guarantee you Salah either starts or, or comes off the bench, they'll be up for it. Always is against us. And you can't believe the best thing in the weapon is. Unbelievable. I mean, better. like you say, if we can nullify them for the first 15, 20 minutes, just keep it steady. Yeah. Keep it calm. Don't rush mm. it. You know, I mean, I think we probably did try that yesterday and it failed. We ended up going 1-0 down after 10 minutes and oh, then yeah. blew away second half. But it's probably just that, okay. Yeah. I think we just need to be far more level-headed and just do exactly... Well, I was going to say do exactly what we did against Luton, but that was score was inside two minutes. But Yeah. Like, I'm going to pull out think just... Not play them like we did at home because if we play them like we did at home, they will oh. beat us. I that was just ridiculous. Like, we you can go about the referee all you want. They people talk about oh. that saying, Oh, can do this, you know, it wasn't a foul, it was a foul, whatever. Yeah. I don't care about the referee, it doesn't matter. That decision would never have mattered had we been able to put chances away. For if me, we don't right, take any, are... if we don't take our Sorry. chances Sunday, we ain't getting anything. We have yep. got to take them chances. Simple as that. Take them when you get them and don't think, oh, there'll be another one, there'll be another one. This is Liverpool at Anfield. We rarely, anyone, regardless of who you are, rarely get chances. And when you get them, you have to make the most of them, whether it's from a corner, whether it's from a free kick, a long ball, through on goal. You've, we've got to be ready to take that and we've got to be you know, on it when it comes to that moment. And we've got to be good in the transitions and we've got to be good... In the midfield, you just got to be on it. You got. I think if someone said play like we did yesterday, and we'll beat we'll beat them. I don't think we will. I think we. I. I think we still need to play a little bit better. I think if we play like we did against Luton, we'll beat them because that was a far more team control game. Play like we did yesterday (laughs) with the team they played in the cup final. I maybe, but with their full strength team, a performance like yesterday doesn't win at Anfield. Because I guarantee you, Darwin Nunes start. Remember, it doesn't matter if it wins Darwin Nunes. I think this season, of watching him, he's getting better. He he's is. Only get better. And I've always thought he would do because I've always thought he's a good player. And the reason why we were, we were linked with him before we got Harland, he's a good striker. It always has to be. He's, he's a very talented guy that, like Hoyland, needs time. Well, you give him time and service, you'll see the, you'll see the, the cool. And by the way, right, if, if Hoyland played yesterday, he would have scored. He were done because <laughs> I, I don't want to think about them scoring any more. Scoring one annoyed me enough. No, I know, but <laughs> I, I, I said before he started, I thought, watch out for him. He might seem like a, like a at first, but is the reason why this kid's so highly rated in Europe? Oh, yeah. Um, he's, what did they pay for him? Like 80 million? 70 yeah, million? Yeah, that's because of the price of him. I think the thing is, if you, I think what if Atlanta didn't really play very much, I mean, but he did well for like, was it Copenhagen? So he, he was a good player. He, he, he yeah, he's, he's, he's a he's a good, he's a very very good. He'll be a very talented player as he gets older. But again, he's not our player. You know, we've, got, we've got a better a better striker from probably um you know, Norway, aren't they? So. <laughs> better <laughs> but, striker no, for I, less money. Yeah, definitely better money. But we're ruining but, football, yeah. Oh, we are. We are. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one team in Manchester that has been proved to breach financial fair play rules, by the way. I'm just going to put that out there. And it ain't Man City. Yeah. It's Manchester United. Just saying. Yeah, absolutely. No, but look, you're right. This is going to be one of those... I think, look, obviously we've got a super preview Copenhagen, but um, it's, it's kind of straightforward, really. Start the game, get the goals, get out of there. Like, basically, a get in, get out game. That's just what I want the job. To Finish it off. Yeah. Yeah. Off, I totally agree with you. I don't know. I, I I can't help but think maybe this would be a good opportunity to give Kovacic a start over Rodri. Yeah. Yes, Just so Rodri's Obviously. totally fresh for Sunday. I don't know whether that's like the warrior in me. Like, you know, I want Rodri 100% fresh because even if he got sent off against Copenhagen, it doesn't matter. But it does because it carries over to the next leg of yeah. the first leg of the next round. But I just think, you know, could we play Ortega in goal? So Edison's fresh. Switch the back four round a little bit, maybe. I, I don't know. I, I, it's so difficult. If it was 
three nil, I would have definitely, definitely said just rest a load of them, rest them all. Put, put Alvarez in instead of Haaland, rest Bernardo, rest Diaz, rest Ake, rest Edison, Rodri, the lot. Yeah. But because they've got that one and we risk it. I mean, I would definitely put Rico Lewis in. Yep. Definitely. I'd start with Rico and Oscar Bob as well. Because I've got rest Kyle for the Luis Diaz battle. Yeah. Sunday. Because that will be a game where he will need to do that pace to get Luis Diaz because Diaz will be on our ass. That Sunday, yeah. I mean, I thought Walker to be fair, I thought he did quite well yesterday. He did, I thought Walker did yeah. really well. I thought, in like, because Rashford's not slow, is he? He's very, I thought slow. so. He's tracking back against Rashford, and that definitely wasn't a foul, by the way. And that tracking back right. against Rashford is, I thought he did that really well. And I thought, apart from him and Ake's total fucking brain fart for their goal, yeah, you know, but yeah. it's. I don't know what the hell Ten Hag's on about fine margins. What fine margins? Two shots. Well, like if you if they don't if they are shot the first half, fine. But I watched it for what dominant. I what literally. I know I wasn't at the game myself, right? But even me watching it on TV, I thought oh. <laughs> I watched the game yeah. my own eyes, man. Not, not not with statistics that even the stats don't really say you dominate anyway. So it's like what no. are you really spoke to me, are you? <laughs> well, there is that chant, isn't there? So that kind of tells you everything about him, but. Yeah, it was yeah. just blowing my mind yesterday. This will probably wind up a load of United fans, but it's meant to. So, it, yeah, exactly. But the, 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 thing, <laughs> that, the thing is, <laughs> but I, just the thing is, I just again, I think there's people. People are, are kind of underestimating our running right now because I'm looking. I'm thinking, mm, right, well, it's tough. so far, so good. Yeah, tick. Night again, tick. Copenhagen, get job done. Hopefully, will be a tick. Hopefully, yeah. Liverpool and Arsenal is not a straightforward game that people are people are not underestimating Arsenal. They really are. I, I know it's Etihad. I, think, had, I, know, yeah, but... I was going to say the positive for me here is that it's at the Etihad. And I am, yeah. I've said to you all season, I've said that I'm confident there will be anyone at home. But then even that, like look at Palace at home, Liverpool at home, yeah. Spurs at home. Chances, chances, chances. We haven't taken any of them. And we've ended up getting three points from a possible nine. And people were saying it's fine. Oh, don't. Oh, so yes, just... but like I saw someone this morning say, like, we'd be top of the league if if it wasn't for refereeing decisions. No. Yes, but maybe. We'd be top of the league if we could take chances. We're it's not going to win look... every game. And we're, we're not going to win every game. Like, no. no one is saying win every single game, 114 points. And for this, no, like, people say, like, oh, you're in tight order, you're expecting to win. No. No, not at all. I don't expect us to get 114 points. It's oh, never going Christ. to happen. You no. know, getting 100 was insane. Like, that's just, ridiculous. that's just mental. If you said, like, said to, oh, you're going to get 100 points next season, you'd be like, no, you're not. No, you're no. not. You've just got 14 <laughs> no. points this season. It's mental. But, like, I, I don't expect us to win every game. I want us to win every game. But one thing yep. I do expect is I expect the best football team in the world with the best Ooh. manager, the best players, and the best fans, to perform to the highest possible level. Now, yeah, OK, maybe people will say that we peaked when we beat Real Madrid 4-0 at home, and that was the highest okay. and the most incredible performance I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Yes, OK, but you've reached that level now. At least, you know, get to there or thereabouts consistently Maintain throughout the whole Maintain. season. Maintain, maintain maintenance, it. exactly. Maintain that position. The, the standards must be maintained. That's what we need to realise, right? We're not asking for wins every. Look, it'd be ideal, the ideal world to win. Yeah, I'd like the world to win every game. It'd be magical, be amazing, but it's not going to happen. It, it, this is reality. Mo, I just want good before every game at the same level. If we lose, fair enough, is what it is. We go again next game. But if we're yeah. playing crap, I will call it out. I am not going to defend these pricks. In the playing rap, you pay money. <laughs> I don't agree with you. I you totally pay agree. money. I just, uh, like it just, it, there's nothing entitled about wanting to win every game, and there's nothing like. All right, we played York thirty years ago. Thirty years ago. I wasn't even alive then, mate. <laughs> we are a totally, totally different team. Totally yep. different team. We're a team that plays think... in Champions League finals and wins them. 
We're a team that wins trebles. We're a team that wins Club World Cups. Yes, okay, yeah, oil money. But so what? So what that I mean, we won the lottery? It doesn't matter. You've still got to be at that level. Look at Newcastle. Newcastle have won the lottery. They're, they're nowhere to be seen. For, for me, though, with Newcastle, though, is I think the, the standard of football when we when we were starting up money was a lot different to where Newcastle are right now. Oh, yeah. I tell you. And, you know, I'm being slightly harsh because it's financial yeah, fair yeah. play as well. It's killed us. Also, my family was Geordie, so they, are, you know, and and you know, they really love it. And it actually said, like, you know, they understand that it's gonna be a wild for the win of it. But I said, like, I said, two or three years, trophy will happen. So yeah. give it a bit of time, yeah. bit, a bit of patience, bit of time. You get the right players in. You might sell some to get some, but it will work out eventually. That's what I said. Like, if you were, if it's like in like ten years ago, you'd been a lot easier to get to, to get up there with us. But you won't be. We won't be for a while. And that's fine. No, I it, think we. Financial fair play was brought in to stop teams ha- to stop us happening again, yeah. because we happened. We took over the elite and basically challenged, and we became good. And yeah. that's they can tell that they can go one one five. They can say they'll strip our titles. They'll never give us the memories back. They'll never take them from us ever. I couldn't ever. care less. Like yeah, I couldn't care less. But if we're in league the- two, I'll be there. I will be there every week. I'll be like yep, yeah, I'll yeah. be there. I- yeah. I- you think, oh, I'm going to leave. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Like, exactly. I've been here for like, 15 years. I'm not going to play leave now. Like, I don't see the point of that because in the day, supporting a different team, it's just, it's going to be soulless at that point. Like, no, I, I, if anything was to happen to us, and I said it, I said this to my fiance as well, like, if anything was to happen to us, I don't think I could ever watch football again. I think yeah. if they ever tried, if they ever, you know, Said, "Are oh, you not being a club anymore?" Or they relegated us to the very bottom. I, yeah, okay. I'd, I'd still love City with everything I've got, but I, I don't know. Football just wouldn't feel the same because I'd feel like one, my club cheated, which I absolutely believe we haven't for a start. No, um, no. But secondly, like, how can the football league have it in them to want to dis, you know? disregard all them achievements that one English club for a start has done, not just in Europe, not just in England, in Europe and the rest of the world. Mm-hmm. It was all right when Arsenal, United, Chelsea, Liverpool were doing it, but someone else yeah. does it, it's not. That's what would annoy me. Like, yeah. Liverpool dominated worldwide for years. United dominated yeah. worldwide the entire Alex Ferguson era. So it's all right for them to do it, but not us. Not Chelsea. Yeah. Like, why can't we do it? Why can't, you know, like my other half is a Wolves fan. Wolves are shafted by financial fair play with a Chinese owner who oh, won't yeah. spend money. It's oh, not Wolves. fair. They're a team, man. Newcastle are the same. They can't spend the money. They're going to have to sell to buy. Get, it's, get it's rid of every flawed system. system. Get rid of it. I'll tell you, right, I would rather give every other team a chance to invest money in their teams to have a good league. I'll tell you, right, we would see everyone going for it. We would see Wolves up there for the Europe of Newcastle. It was in Newcastle. It would get cartel of Liverpool United Arsenal out of the way. Your, your history means nothing. Your history is cool. But right now, we want this league to be the best possible we can. And these exactly. is, is FFP yeah. rule, rules in, it just keeps you lot safe. Exactly. I want I want challenges. I want Wolves to challenge. I want, I want more challenges. Bring it on. Let's see if back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. I, I think, and everyone talks they want the league to be competitive, and this is the most competitive it's been in years. Yes, the most competitive mm-hmm. it's been in the years because it's the three teams challenging for the title, conveniently, are the three teams that have spent the most over the last five years. Funny that. Yeah, I know, right? Funny that. No, I know, but just look. Scrap these rules. I'm not saying all the rules. You're, you're gonna have some rules in play to stop people getting you know through. Like, look, look at like league. Look, you've got to be very careful. Fine. Yeah. I do, that, that has to be some leeway, but not too much. Where you've got to keep the levels. You know, I keep think the... that. Yeah, big problem. Like you're saying there, big problem with that is, like, the rules from financial fair play were brought in ten years ago. I could oh, be wrong. Yeah. Correct me if I am on that. Ten years ago, they haven't changed in that time. They are exactly the same rules that they were at the very start. So the profit and loss is 105 million you can lose over the course of however many years. That's exactly the same as it was at the very start. So you're telling me now with inflation, 
with player wages, with everything that's happened in the last 10 years, 105 million is like an average. No. That's why I'd say scrap it, put a cap on it like the change higher, of the time. A higher cap on and yeah. make it more comfortable. Because look, I don't go. I don't go a bit of a rant about it, but this is like this is always what be like the, the channel. Like your constant conversations about this kind of stuff. But this is what it's all about. But for me, I just want to see some some fair for everyone. I don't want just me and you know, our club and better. Well, I want a bit more fair. I want to see more competition. Well, of course, I want to see more because if I just want to see my team everything, that's great and all. But I want to see a bit more, like someone challenge us a bit more, not just you know. They make us, us and... better. Yeah, of course. They make us better. Like it makes. Look, Arsenal, Liverpool, City this season have theoretically made each other better. Liverpool in 1920, 18-19, the years we were challenging them, they were unbelievable. Yes. We were unbelievable. We yeah. made each other better. Yeah. It's like the whole Messi and Ronaldo thing. One made Amazing. the other better. Yes. Because we exactly. were constantly applying for the left. Liverpool have won. Right, we have to win. Right, City have won. OK, we have to win. Look at that game in January when we beat Liverpool a few years ago. 2-1. We won. Aguero and uh, Sane, yeah. Aguero and Sane, yeah. Like, that was unbelievable. The level of football in that game. Both teams, incredible. If that, if that was a draw, fair enough, by the way. Yeah, I know we, 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 one another out. If we had won that, well, that's we won that way, but whoever won that, fair enough. But the fact that we won that in a game of that magnitude, that's the best game I think I've, ever, I think I've seen uh, ever. At that level. Because you had two managers at the top of their game. Yeah. Two teams at the top of their game. Uh, I, I don't care what people say about Klopp, right? Klopp's a great manager. I mean, what, when, yes, he... Yeah, the only thing about him spending, uh, not spending money is bullshit. He has spent money. Of course he has. But that's fine. So it's fine spending money. Yeah, but it's... it's but it, here because of how good he is as a manager and how much he's taking that squad from shit where it is now. And I respect that so much because he's done very, very well there. Are you leaving? Fair enough. You know, I, I understand that stress on him. Fair enough. It's high level and you know, he's been here for what, quite a while. But then again, how many years? More than high level. So it makes sense. So. <laughs> I think, yeah, I totally agree with you. I think the whole Every club has made each other better. I mean, last season, we had to catch Arsenal. If we wanted to keep our, you know, if we wanted to keep our sanity, Arsenal did so well up until that point. And, you know, everyone was like, they'll fail, they'll bottle it, they'll do this, they'll do that. And it was getting to a point where you're thinking, are they? Are they really? And then, obviously, that West Ham game came, Saka missed the penalty, they drew 2-2 from being 2-0 down, 2-0 up, sorry. And then Liverpool was the same, they were 2-0 up, drew 2-2, and it was like, okay, yeah. And we were starting to build then and we were just going full on, just yeah. blowing teams away and just looking so good. But like, I think we we had to become that because Arsenal had been that before. We had to. We hadn't got a choice. If we didn't, we wouldn't have won anything. And if you want to be the best, you've got to beat the best. And I think that this season, like, I don't know, is it because... Other, you know, other teams have got to look at themselves a little bit as well because we haven't been at our best. We had a no, wobble, no and none of them took advantage of it. Alex, be real, right? To me, right now, and we're we're fourth of March. Has this team blown you away or been at level at all this this entire season? Be realistic here. Have we no. been? Not like we were last season, nowhere near. But I think transfers haven't helped. Not that I'm slagging no. the transfers off in any way, but they weren't no. ready to jump into that level straight away. No. Gundogan was world class, and we never replaced him. Yeah, Kovacic is injury prone, but he's although he's been there and done it. He's a very good player, though. And we've already yeah. spoke about Nunes and Doku. Very, very good players, but they weren't bought in Anytime. to be an instant impact. Two or three years, were, exactly. Two or three years, but I think I, I like I was. I don't know whether you watch the Amazon documentary on the, the wives in football, but me and my other half are watching that. And I said, Gundogan and Mares are both on it. And you know my opinions on Mares when he was at City. You know, never played a big game. Never thought he was really that good. Other fans loved him. That's up to them. I didn't particularly rate him, but there we go. I've always, yeah, but I always them. thought, if we were getting rid of one, we should have kept the other. Yeah, so, 
if Gundogan goes, Mares stays. Mares goes, yeah. Gundogan stays. Exactly. And I think that would have massively helped our level. No matter yeah. what I thought of Mares, I think, well, look now, I think we could, like, definitely now, because Doku's struggling, bless him. His confidence must be shot to pieces, by the way. But I think you could have brought Mares in, he's done the job, and he, he's experienced, he's done it with Grealish being now injured. And I think look, he would have helped Doku as well. Look, uh, in the summer, you and me will do a squad review and talk about the entire squad and, and let's say who's going to stay, who's going to go. Because you and me have got brutal about that, I think. And that's fair enough. Because I love, I love Mika Hamilton, but like that, they, they aren't going to make it here. I don't know I don't enough think... about that that side of the EDS, to be honest. I know a couple of them, like, like obviously. we've. But I, my personal opinion on Oscar Bob is the best talent we've had since Foden. From what oh, I see, he'll be there. It will be, yeah. But I want him to start at more games. I'm saying I want him to start every game, but even some of the games, yeah. he's pretty tough enough to give a, give him a go. Like he's a good talent. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm not saying like a buddy um, Saka and play him every game. I'm saying that like, at least give him a bit more game time here and there because he deserves it. Yeah. Well, well, watch him play. He really, is, he, does, he does put a shift in. Very yeah, he does. Look at it. Yeah, I think but I don't the, know enough about Michael Hamilton to be brutally honest. I don't. No. I only see little bits of them on Twitter and what other people say. So that kind of level, I'm not like clued up on, but I'll be brutally honest on that. But then I think like what I see coming through, like I watched like everyone like raved about James McAtee and I was like, really? Like he's been relegated be once. Here. No, he hasn't. No, sorry. He wasn't relegated first time, was he? He got promoted with, she he went down to the championship to be with Sheffield United. He's come back up, gone on loan to him again, but he's going to be relegated. I agree with you. I know. I think I, I, I have a feeling where, where he'll be in, in the summer, though. It'll, it'll probably be leaving like a permanent deal with Samson. It, it looks serious to me. Like, you've got a dozy, you've got a bloody thingy. I think he'll go there, probably. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think it'd be a good move for him. I mean, everyone raves about Lavia. Um, Injuries, <laughs> yeah. Chelsea. But, yeah. Is he doing anything? No, I don't know whether that's injuries. However, there probably is one, you could say, who's from our EDF, who's done okay this season on loan, Tommy Doyle. He has, but I'll be perfectly real with you, he won't make it to the city. That, yeah, I, I don't think he will. I think he... I love him, but make I think if, if Wolves were to come in with 15, 20 million... Make it. Yeah, because he'd do well there. He'd be a really solid player for them. And Wolves love shame. him. Wolves love him. I speak to a couple of Wolves fans, they absolutely love him, so... It's just that it's not. Look, the thing is, right? We could be brutally honest with um, our youth players. Phil mm. Foden, obviously the best. Yeah, Oscar yeah. Bob. Cole Palmer, I'll say, has been a success. That's what you say about it. He has been. Shaby didn't really make it with us, but more than they could have done. But he was. He was never going to get there with us. He was never going to play. No. So it was but like it's one was, of them. Like he was. Well, if you're that young. And you think you've got that much talent, and people say you've got that much talent, and people believe in you. You don't want to be stuck behind some. You don't want to stop behind three players, do you? So I, I, I the respect. Best base it. I, I thought Chelsea fair enough. I thought the other day is a young team. And he's doing well there. I, 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 he's yeah, he's that yeah, top scoring, eh? So I say fairly in it. Fairly yeah. for them this year, and uh, that's, that's mad that Chelsea of all teams. <laughs> that's for Chelsea yeah. right now, man. But. But, uh, but no, good for him, though. Good for him. I, 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 don't give it, look, I don't care what people say about him. I like him personally. I think he's, he, he's always been respectful. He hasn't said anything horrible. It, it is what it is. Football, mate. We can't, you know, we can sort of be in the stuff, stuff, any player, man. But at the end of the day, right, good luck to him. I hope it's, I hope it's a good career, apart from playing against us. So. Fair enough. <laughs> well said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, it's, I think, look, go, obviously, we'll, after, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go back to the games, obviously, before we finish off. But, I think, and obviously we'll, do, we'll also do a video of Arsenal and obviously down the line anyway. There's obviously just an interview for, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. for like, Wednesday at Liverpool. And obviously we'll do a review of Liverpool this week as well. But these two games for me are going to be a real indicator of where we are. I know Copenhagen's yeah. a, a weird one, the second leg, but it is. Because if we don't do well in that game, and we scrape another one, which we could do, by the way, and people say we won't, we could do. Are you, can, can you guarantee me that this team's going to play unbelievably well the rest of the season? Can you guarantee me that? I'd love to be able to. I genuinely would like. I, like if you'd have said if, this to me a year ago, 
Can I guarantee yes. this play this team will blow you away? Yeah. One hundred and ten percent. I've said it all season. This is the best squad we've ever had. And look what we won out of it. The just lot. to indicate, just to indicate, we are now at the point where we won seven nil against Leipzig and we started cooking on full gas. Yep. If we do not have a performance of that kind in the next two games, we're not winning it barely anything this year, probably. I know it sounds mental I'm saying that, and like it's I doubt this team is crazy, but I can't just sit here and pretend everything's okay. We've got to talk about these issues and say how, how it is because if we say, oh, it's fine, we'll, we'll do it again. Like, okay, we're unbeaten in 17 games, which is great, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We no, play away from that. I played well in 17 games. No. That's the issue. We've, That's yeah. the point. That's the whole point. Like, we might be unbeaten, but we haven't been at our highest level. Now, that could be seen as a very, very good thing. Like, could be. you're unbeaten, but you're not playing well. So that's a good thing, right? But then also, all it takes is that one performance of the same standard where it isn't quite right. We get beat and it all comes tumbling down and getting you back to square one again. Now, yep. if that's Sunday, we're screwed. Because they, put, they would go four points clear of us. We've lost to Anfield again. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're back to and then we're back to the start again. And it's like what and then our next league game's Arsenal, isn't it after that? Or we've got no, we've got one in between, yeah. haven't we? Newcastle Arsenal. then Arsenal. That's it, yeah. And then you're back to the FA Cup, which no disrespect to Newcastle, I'm pretty certain we'll beat them at home. It'll be it'll be a close one, but I think it'll be tight, win. yeah. But I think like, like yesterday, it should be fairly Routine. I mean, careful of Isak and Gordon, especially last time. Uh, yeah, running out. But it, this is what I mean, mate. Like I've, been, you and me have been saying the same things every week about this team, and it's not because I want to be angry. I, I hate it. I hate. No, I, I, I hate don't want to be annoyed by City. I, I, I don't want to be. I can't just say do that. Just smile my way through. Like I, I can't do it. Like, like faith is one of the things I think. I hear like. Faith, really? Is that is that what we've got to have now? Like, I've got a bit I've got to pray. Like... <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I think like that. Like like when we scored the equaliser yesterday, I was going mental, pure, obviously because we scored, but like it's not like, so great. much like Ooh, yes, yeah. we're gonna beat them. It was almost like yeah, it, as a relief like, kind of thing. Like okay. thank fuck for that. Yeah. Like Cause... one all, and then it was like, right, come on, we'll batter them now. And then it turns out we did. But that level can't be for 45 minutes. It needs to Not be yet. for 95 minutes. Yes. And it needs yeah. to be consistent. That's all I'm... I'm not saying win every week. I'm not saying that. I'm literally just saying consistency. We can't be brilliant one week and then the next week be bang average and end up not winning. Uh, this is why I Rotten wish the points. Forest game... This is why I wish the Forest game was a draw. Because if we were going there ahead of them... And we got a draw. I would fucking take it. Yes, yeah. I would. But we can't take a draw because they will run away with that. They're like, oh, pointing a city. We'll take that. Off they go. Because you cannot, you, you cannot guarantee me that West Ham and Villa will beat them at home. They won't. They'll find a way. Because Liverpool always find a way, even if they don't. They're awful. They're crap. They're used. And, and bear in mind, I've got a few mates that are actually fans of them and say. Same with me. We're not playing well this season, by the way, but we're just getting the result we need to get. Yeah, okay, it's the doing that. But when we've been doing that, we went through an awful spell of performances where it just went bad to worse and just thought, here we go again. And like, I just want to see a performance on Sunday. If we do win on Sunday, it, look, look, it, any kind of win, I'll probably take and run with it. I would, yeah. I wouldn't, if it was a 1 0 own goal last minute, I would. Down the street, go mental. Spin in, yeah, being, exactly. Being being shameless, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, 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 I wouldn't <laughs> care. I'll be shameless, but it's like I need to see a performance on Sunday. That's like a team that that's together that's saying, right, we know we're not perfect, but we're going to get over the line because it's yeah, just I know exactly. I'm, not, that's like I'm, I'm panicking here, but I need to see proof. I can't just. Assume that oh, the last two or three years were good because it was, it was came good this time of the year. I can't. One year, what happened? That's what worries I mean, me. 
That's what worries me. I and mean, it's not like last season and the year before, we had one team chasing us or we were chasing one team. Two. two. Yes, exactly. This year is two. This year it's two. So it's not like, look over your shoulder, what are Liverpool doing? Oh, I still won. Yeah, all right. Liverpool won in the 90th minute, but Arsenal haven't played yet. We've now got to beat United. Uh, we beat United. No, well, um, what about Arsenal? 5 0. Is it 5 0? 5 0. Second half, yeah. Mate. <laughs> and like, there you go. Well, my brother's just texted me during this and he said, Should I put a tenner on 8 to 1, more than 9.5 goals? Mate, I told the level going. they're playing at at the minute. Because honestly, they all come to our ground. I don't think they'll go all out attack because I think they'll learn last time. I have a yeah. feeling they're going to yeah. play a good game against us, and Pep's got to do the same. Yeah. It's not good people. I think, oh, we'll win 2 or 1. No, we won't. If we do, holy crap, Arsenal, what are you doing? That's all I'm going to say. Because yeah. if Arteta is as I think he's a man, I don't think he's a great manager, I think he's a good manager and is getting better as a manager. He would have thought, right, last year I came here, tried my football, and I got absolutely ruined. This yeah. time, I'm going to play the frustrating. Because if Arsenal, let's say, right, because I think they'll want to go, they'll want to see a draw, Anfield. They will. If, 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 That's a draw, the best Anfield, them, definitely. A draw. Yeah, yeah. Both teams got points. Yeah. Because if, if we win, Arsenal chasing us at that point. Yeah. If Liverpool win, I agree with We're you. both chasing them. And Liverpool, Liverpool will win the league. I think that will... yes. I think this could be. This is massive this weekend. It's massive. Oh, There's no two ways about it. It's massive. People are sugarcoating it. I'm like, seriously, guys. I don't think you realise how hard this game actually is. Oh. Like, it's Mother's Day. I'm like, are you kidding me? Mother's Day of all that I have to like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for yeah, a day after the day before. Out. I'm going to cross the day before with Keris, oh. and I, I just think, yeah, this could be so much better. Like, get me yeah, out of I the football world for a day. <laughs> I, I, I took my I I I mum out on Sunday for for probably for food. I'm like, you know what? I, I just don't mind not watching the game because if I'm watching the game, I'll, I'll be just shit myself for the whole game. So just to distract me with drinks, and if we lose, great. Right, if we win, I'm drinking even more. That's what I'm gonna do because <laughs> I, I hate Anfield. I absolutely yeah, it's hate. It's a horrible place to go, and like everyone says, the Anfield atmosphere is a myth. Yeah, okay, it, maybe no, it is a little bit, but still, it's still mate, Anfield. I, 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 I said earlier, first quarter of an hour, 20 minutes is the most yeah. important part of the game. Yeah, exactly. It totally is. is. We started, we've got absolutely Firmino, Salah, Mane, boom, 3-0, job, job done for them. We've got yeah. to, we've got to stay chill. Don't, our fans should not expect any kind of goals in the first quarter. If we, if we score a goal first quarter of an hour, holy crap, okay, I'm this about that. Yeah, just, just, we did, like we said before, just total relax, just relax. Relax. Yeah. Don't let the occasion get to you. Just we know what we're good at. That's what's annoying me. Like we, we know what we're capable of. We've proved it over the years. We have proved now, it. There's, there's no denying what we are capable of. We are capable the, of winning the lot. The We've team done it. Go, we don't need to prove it. We've done it. Yeah. But we just need to remember that. Remember that we are capable of doing this, and we could still do yeah. it again. We could do one game at <laughs> mate. No, if we get. I was literally just going to say the same thing, but then we need to relax and remember one game at a time. Just keep look, ticking those boxes. I said before, if we, if we get out of this running unbeaten still, yeah. Okay. However, if Liverpool keep winning up towards April, after we play, let's we draw and build and pass. If Liverpool, if we don't get a favour from, some, from someone, we're fucked. Yeah. If it, if it was like level on points, I wouldn't give a shit personally. But all Liverpool need is an inch and run a mile. And they can do it. And there was not a Liverpool team of our previous years, but they've got Salah, they've got Van Dyke, they've got players in that team that they can win them games. Even as yeah. a Awful, disgusting, embarrassing, horrible one nil. They'll take it. Yeah. But far away, they. So they right, this get... point. <sighs> is this why, mate? Honestly, football should be meant to be this thing that I enjoy, but I'm like, I hate it at times. Like, God, stresses me out so much, man. Mate, summer, turn it, 
Like, Euros. <laughs> like this summer I've just had is the best summer of my life for multiple reasons. But more so because I had no football to worry about. Like no, the stress of last free. season was over and oh. I was like, ugh. This is why us two are doing this show because it gives us a chance yeah. to talk about stuff and also brutally honest from the heart. And that, yeah. this episode one, we'll do pro- we'll probably get more you know in depth and actually have good stuff and graphics and that later on. But this is just to get us started off so we get want to see what we're talking about. And look, it's great to sort of have a chat about it. I mean, look before we, before we finish off, we'll do predictions for both games because. I much want to predict do do get two two shows. Both of us are busy right now. One one one, one a week's probably fine for the moment until we sort of stuff out. But I think Open again, comfortable, um, comfortable three four nil, easy. Yeah, um, I think really it's at home. I think we should. And like I said before, we're doing better in the Champions League than we are in the league. Liverpool. Yeah. Do you want my head or my heart? Right. We'll go with we'll go with the heart first. Two one C. Okay. Now the head. Other way around. Right, so I'll start off. Copenhagen three four nil. Liverpool. It just depends on that first quarter of an hour, twenty minutes. Totally agree. If we quarter of an hour, I'm out. Bye. Like because Liverpool at that point will rise up. The crowd will roar. Our play will shit themselves again, as they always probably do. I don't want to do, they do that, but for some reason, the Anfield crowd, they, they have to can't, they can't stand them. If we get the first goal in the game, okay, we'll win. That first goal is so crucial. It's yeah, so yeah, definitely. Crucial. Now, I'm going to go with a 2 all. i I'd take that. I think... Um, I. I'd... I would I yeah I think I would. If you just not lose an we're banking on someone getting a result against them. And have they got? I, no, they haven't. I was going to say if they got to play Arsenal, they've played them twice, haven't they? They got Villa away, United away, United away. Yeah. <laughs> no, Villa away depends. It just they depends on, on on the luck they get the uh, from referees. Not get. I don't give a shit. Be whatever's not salty there. Ollie Watkins needs to do us a favour if that's the case. But... <laughs> but again, like, hold on. We're playing Villa at home too as well. So it's like, I mean, like, yeah, we've got Villa at home. Yeah, we've got quite late in the season. And we've got West Ham at home as well. Tottenham away again. as well is another one we've got to go. Oh, not, not again. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, <it's so> <laughs> uh... We beat him in the cup. It's fine. We beat him in the cup. We can do it again. Oh, and by the way, it's six 0 now for Arsenal. Oh wow! <laughs> they won't score enough <laughs> goals, apparently. By the way, goal difference. Uh, yeah. Well done. Well done. Well done for not scoring enough goals. That's all I'm gonna say because it could it be the first time in ages where the where the we've not had the best goal difference. It could be the first time in ages. I, that's what baffles me. Why are we so bad going for? What's happened to Harlem this year? I need to know this because, like, is he ever communicating it? Is he just like, because I'm like, like thinking, mate, it's not that hard. Last year you were hitting them so casually and so normally because it was your, your normal. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like I'm overthinking it. Yeah, yeah. Too much. Go back to basics. Basics of football, as one player once said. Look, I know you and me sound like we're going mental here and like, like go panicking, but the thing <laughs> is, if we were playing well up to this point, I'd form a confidence and I would. Yeah, 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 yeah. But look, all I'll say is hopefully next show we'll have something to celebrate. Like a, a, a shame, we'll have a shameless episode of celebration against Liverpool. I, I do it. <laughs> Let's hope so, man. I hope so. I really want. I, really, look, I just want to see us win there with a the crowd. I want to see us shut them up. Look like, at I've, never, I've seen it once. Yeah. I have seen us win there once with the crowd in my life. Was that the Anelka goal? Wasn't it? Was it Anelka? Anelka last minute? Yeah. Last minute as well. <laughs> They're not even a clean win. <laughs> oh. It was literally the last kick of the game. Oh, God, <laughs> man. Right, look. Just City, please. Just for, for once, free us the, the Anfield curse and Tottenham curse in one year. Just free us this curse so I can yeah. enjoy my yeah. life again. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, look, let's hope this is a good one. Look, again, first game Wednesday. 
Let's go Wednesday because Wednesday isn't done yet. By the way, we still got that game to play. Yeah, then still got that one. But Sunday, I was, I'm going to hate Sunday. I'm going to hate it so much. I'll say, I'm... Hate it till we till we till it finishes. Just don't look at the score. <laughs> you know. oh, no, no, no. Cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, all right, mate. Well, thank you very much. Very much. It's been a great, it's been a great, it's been a good sort of first episode. Yeah, show. I mean, and if you know, know, if anyone wants to, to come on with us, come on with us, come on and have a chat to us, and we'll just have a laugh. Yeah. Like, this is, to be honest, we're not, we're not trying to wind not. anyone up. Maybe United fans a little bit. We're not trying to wind yeah, anyone but... up. I'm not trying to get in under anyone's skin or annoy anyone. We're literally just saying it as we feel. But if you want to come and have a chat, give us your side. You know, it, even <laughs> even if you're not a City fan, come and have a chat to us. If you're a more positive person, that's that, that's fine. I, I I actually don't like that. If you're a positive person, but you're also quite realistic about it as well, I respect that so much because that's what I want. That's what I would like to be. I'm probably like I say I am. People would think I am, but I actually am. It's just that if people who are positive and just don't stop being positive, like it's like you can't be realistic for one moment and think actually you know what I'll be real here. Yeah, that's, that's a lot longer. There's nothing wrong. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with criticizing people. There's nothing wrong with criticizing players, abusing players. Ah, uh-uh, don't do that. That's wrong. No. Criticize them. Say they had a bad game. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with having an opinion that's different to someone else's. Like, yeah. there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Like, I don't know. Like, like yesterday, for example, I know for me saying when I said earlier that Phil, Phil I thought Phil was dire first half. Yeah. That's me. I thought he was, but he missed two sitters. He, he wasn't placing passes. Second half, he was outstanding. That's what Phil does. He is that guy. There's yes. people who would absolutely slaughter me for that, and that's fine. But I'm not abusing Phil. I'm literally saying I didn't think he played very well first half. He needs to step it up, and that's exactly what he did. It's exactly mm-hmm. what he did. But he needs to do that for 90 minutes. The whole team do that for 90 minutes. The whole team do that for 90 minutes. I'm laughing. Yep, so, am I. so am I. But yeah, but yeah, before we end, Manchester of course is blue, as it always it is. is. Always, always is. will be. Always will be. Always will be. Never changes. It's never changed. It's never changed in 30 yeah. years. It ain't changing now. They're, they're in the mud still. Doesn't matter what people are trying to say about the, the new owners in the offs and that. They're still in the mud. They still can't get 11 losses in one season. He's lost over a quarter of his games. I saw a stat before. He's like 100 games in charge. He's lost 28 of them. Yeah. Oh, but Eras come to them, mate. Yeah. yeah. Your Something one like is that. soon. <laughs> Your one is. <laughs> but, uh, but thank you very much for, for watching, people. As a first episode, it will get better, more graphically and more pretty. It will do. Give me time to work out stuff. I've just yeah, started the show. Yeah, and me. I'm not the best at this yet. I'm currently... And yeah. this isn't what my backdrop's going to look like, by the yeah. way. This is like makeshift Neither in the mine. last sort of hour yeah. I made this. Like, I am currently moving house, so this will change. Yeah. Give us about a couple of months. Uh, uh, let's say start of next season will be even better and ready to go because at that yeah. point I'll be in a much more nice area and that kind of stuff. Just give it a bit of time. But yeah, <laughs> episode one, give us a bit of time, please. We're not professionals. I, I try to be, but I'm just not. All right, I'm not me. Experience. I'd like to be, but I'm not yet. I'll get people who are. We'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. See you later, Luke. Have a good one, mate.